All right, so today we look at something different. So we look at curve sketching for polynomials. So to sketch a polynomial curve, we follow the following procedures. So first of all, we find the turning points, and that is an area we emphasize in the former videos. We determine the nature of the turning points, and then next we find the intercepts, and then after that we can sketch the curve. Alright, so first question. Given the curve y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2, determine and distinguish the turning points of the curve, that is part A, and part B, sketch the curve. So let's solve this. Alright, so first of all, this is the this is the curve we've been given, y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. So in differentiate it, we get 2x minus 3. And then for turning points, remember dy dx must be equal to 0. So when you equate this to 0, we'll actually find that 2x shall be equal to 3, of which x shall be equal to 3 over 2. So let's look at it when x is equal to 3 over 2. So we can put that in the value of y. And then we can get the value of y as negative a quarter. So now that we know the value of y, we can say the turning point is 3 over 2, comma, negative a quarter. So let's look at the nature of this turning point. So now we get the second derivative of this, of which now this shall give me 2. Now we can say that 2 is greater than 0, so therefore this is a minimum point. Alright, so now that we know, we know the nature of the point, we cannot find the intercepts. So finding the intercepts is very easy. So what we get is the general equation of the curve that we are given. So look at the case when y is 0. So when y is 0, we'll have all these values equating to 0. Now these, when you, differentiate, when you get them, when you solve them quadratically, we'll get x as being equal to 1. Or x shall be equal to 2. So now we can see that we have two different points. So now we can see when y is 0, we can have 1, 0, then we can also have 2, 0. How about when x is 0? When x is 0, we shall have y being equal to 2. So that means the point shall be 0, 2. So therefore, the intercepts are 1, 0, p, the second one is 2, 0, and the next one is 0, 2. So now that we know this, we can actually plot this in a curve. Alright, so what happens first is when you're plotting this, I encourage you to first place the intercepts as you can see here so where is one zero so one zero is right here then two zero is actually right here and then we have zero two right there and then next after that is you can place the turning point so you can remember that the turning point was three over two comma negative a quarter so this is the point right here and then once you've done that you can just sketch a curve connecting those different points and that's how you get the curve for y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. So let's look at the next question. So given the curve y is equal to 7 minus x minus x squared, determine and distinguish the turning points of the curve. B, sketch the curve. So solve this. So this is the curve we have. So dy dx shall be equal to negative 1 minus 2x. So for turning points, remember dy dx is 0. So we can equate this to 0 and we'll get x as being equal to negative a half then when x is equal to negative a half we can find the value of y so y shall be equal to 29 over 4 so therefore the turning point is negative 0 0.5 comma 7.25 let's look at the nature of this turning point so now we can see that the second derivative we can say the second derivative of this shall give me negative 2 and then we can say this value is less than 0. So that means that this val this point here, this turning point, is the maximum point. Alright, so now that we know that, we can find the intercepts. So now we can equate the general equation of the curve to 0 when y is 0. And then we can actually get x as being equal to 2.193 or x being equal to negative 3.193. And then these are the two turning points that we get when y is 0. Then when x is 0, we shall get y as being equal to 7. So this is the turning point to get when x is 0. So therefore the intercepts are that. So let's sketch this curve. So first of all, like I encourage you, plot the different intercepts that you find. That's why they are dotted as you can see right there. So these are your intercepts right here. So this is the one that you got. Then this was another intercept right here. And then this was another intercept. And then this was your turning point right 
the, as you can see everything matches and that's how you sketch this curve so your next question find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve y is equal to 2x cubed minus 9x squared minus 60x plus 11 and distinguish between them and hence sketch the curve so this is what we have so now we can see that dy dx shall be equal to 6x squared minus 18x minus 60 then remember that for turning points dy dx is equal to 0 so equate this to 0 and you'll get actually when you divide all these by 6 you get x squared minus 3x minus 10 being equal to 0 so you shall get x as either being equal to 5 or x being equal to negative 2 when you solve quadratically now when x is equal to 5 we'll get y being equal to that which is negative 264 so turning point is 5 comma negative 264 and then let's look at the nature of this turning point so what we do is we get the second derivative so the second derivative here shall be 12x minus 18 so now we can see that this shall give me 42 when i substitute for the value of x so you can see that this value is greater than zero so therefore this turning point is a minimum point now when x is equal to negative 2 which was the other value we got for x this is what we have so y shall be equal to 79 and then the turning point is negative 2 comma 79 so the nature of this turning point we get its sec we get the second derivative again of the general equation of the curve and dy dx and then this is what we have so substituting for the value of x that you have right here then we will have negative 42 so this value is less than zero so therefore this is the maximum point so that means we have both a maximum and a minimum point on this curve let's find the intercepts so this is what we have when y is zero this is what we'll have so x shall be equal to that or that or that so we have three values of x and y is zero so therefore we have three turning points then when x is zero will have y being equal to 11 so the turning point will be 0 11 so therefore the intercepts are as given so let's sketch this so now first of all place all your turning points on the curve and then place the turning points so remember the turning points will be the points where the curve makes a turn as you can see right here so this was our turning point for this our minimum turning point then this is our maximum turning point and as you can see this is an intercept this is an intercept this is another intercept and this is another intercept so when you connect all of them this is the curve that we'll have question four find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve y is equal to 5x power 6 minus 12x power 5 and distinguish between them and hence sketch the curve so this is what we have so when i differentiate this dy dx shall be equal to 30x to the power 5 minus 60x to the power 4. so for turning points dy dx remember is 0 so I equate this to 0 then i can set i can factorize out 30x to the power 4. it will be 30x to the power 4 times x minus 2 being equal to 0. so either this is equal to 0 of which x shall be 0 or x minus 2 shall be equal to 0 of which x shall be equal to positive 2. So let's look at it when x is 0. So when x is 0, y shall be equal to 0. So therefore the turning point is 0, 0. Then the nature of this turning point, let's find the second derivative of this. And then I'll have this. So I can substitute in for 0 where there is x. And then I'll have the second derivative being equal to 0. So therefore, since everything is 0, 0 and the second derivative is equal to 0, this is the point of inflection. So when x is 2, y shall be equal to negative 64. So the turning point is 2 comma negative 64. So let's find the nature of this turning point. So it's second derivative. So plug in a 2 where you have the x. And then I'll get 480. So this point is greater than 0. So therefore this is a minimum point. So to find the intercepts, this is what we have. So when y is 0, I can factorize out x to the power 5. I can see that x is either equal to 0 or x is equal to 12 over 5 which is 2.4 so these are the two points i get when y is 0 so when x is 0 i'll have y being equal to 0 so the intercept is also 0 0 so therefore the intercepts are 
0, 0 and 2.4, 0. All right, so this is one of your turning points. This is the other turning point, 0, 0, which we said is a point of inflection. So as you can see, we sketch it as a point of inflection. Then this is the minimum point, and that's why we have it shaped that way. And this is the curve that you have for y is equal to 5x power 6 minus 12x power 5. All right, so next question. Find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve y is equal to x power 4 minus 2x squared minus x and distinguish between them. And hence sketch the curve. All right, so let's solve this. So this is the curve that we have. So dy dx shall be equal to 4x cubed minus 4x. So for turning points, remember dy dx is equal to 0. Equate this to 0. And you can see that you can pull out 4x. So you have 4x into x squared minus 1 shall be equal to 0. So x can be equal to 0, of which x is 0, or x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So I'll have x being equal to positive 1. I mean x squared shall be equal to positive 1. And then, when I find the square root of that, I shall have x as either being equal to positive 1 or negative 1. So when x is 0, y shall be equal to negative 8. So the turning point is 0, negative 8. So nature of this turning point, I'll get the second derivative being equal to negative 4. Now this value is less than 0. So therefore, this is a maximum point. So when x is negative 1, I'll have y being equal to negative 9. So let's find the nature of this turning point. So nature of this turning point, I'll have it as positive 8. So this value is greater than 0, so therefore this is a minimum point. How about when x is positive 1? I shall get y as being equal to negative 9. So the turning point is 1, comma, negative 9. So let's find the nature of this turning point. I'll have it as 8. So this value is greater than 0. So therefore, this is the minimum point. Let's find the intercepts. So now, when y is 0, I'll get this as being equal to 0. Now this can be solved this way. And then when I find the quadratic, solve this quadratically, now I'm going to be dealing with each value as if it's x squared. So the answer, I'll, every answer I'll equate to x squared. So x squared can either be equal to 4, or x squared can be equal to negative 2. Now we can see that for the negative 2, the answer is undefined. Now when x squared is equal to positive, is equal to positive 4, x can either be equal to positive 2 or negative 2. So now these are the two turning points that I get when y is... I mean these are the two intercepts I get when y is 0. So when x is 0, y shall be equal to negative 8. So therefore the other point is... The other intercept is 0, negative 8. So these are the intercepts that I get. So when I sketch this on a curve, all right, so here are your intercepts. So this is one of the intercepts. This is another one. Then there's actually an intercept that actually had the same value as a maximum point as what as one of the ones that we had found. So that's why it's plotted together. And then these are the two minimum points that you found. So this is how your curve will look. All right, so I hope these ones have actually been sufficient for you to understand how curve sketching of these polynomials work. Because next, I have an exercise for you. These are numbers I encourage you to try out. So they'll help you understand whatever we've covered in this section of stationary points. And then this part of sketching polynomials over curve. So try this out and get better at your knowledge. So pause the video, copy them, and I believe you'll get better. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope the video really, really helped you. If it did, feel free to share the video with all your friends and help as many as you can. And then, if you really like the video, feel free to give the video a like or a thumbs up. And then, tell me in the comments if the video really helped you and I'll try to get time and reply to your comments. And then, if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to join the community by subscribing. And then, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you get updated every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.